right, uh, here's the first picture. And this is indeed baby gap, because you can see this is children's clothes. This is not adult gap, which would not be as funny, but. Still inappropriate. Still, nonetheless. yeah, definitely inappropriate. Okay, what you think is a person is actually a coat rack back there over my right shoulder. Uh, no, I think that's a, that's a person over there. No, I'm pretty sure it's a, a, a coat rack, but uh, more importantly, what I'm displaying here is a, it's a beautiful two-piece sort of thing. <laughs> I guess Very it's cute. like Very a den cute. it's a denim top with Good for fall. Oh, perfect for fall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to tell people to make sure that they're smoking the cigar and there's like lots of plumes of smoke um, and get close-ups because Mark was so far back. In, fact, in that shot, he's outside of the store. Yeah, it's taken through the through the glass. Right. Okay, and here's me outside of the gap. And this is really the only one where you can tell that the cigar is lit. I'm puffing on that. That's a Oliva G Cameroon Mini Bellicoso. We lit the cigars in the car, and then we walked in the mall. And while I, while I was walking in the mall, I realized, man, it would be so nice just to walk down the mall with a cigar. But those days are gone. It's no longer 1930 or 40-something. And here's another one of me in the gap. You should have that hand looked at. Yeah. You're uh, looking a little blurry. You know, they, they offer a, a photo for idiots class at, at the Learning Annex here in town if you want to sign up. We want you to send us a picture of you enjoying a cigar in an inappropriate arena. Now, to inspire you to do this, uh, we're going to make a contest out of it for this week. Hopefully it'll be an ongoing thing, and hopefully you guys will keep watching and tune in, and um, we'll keep doing this because... I really don't want to go back to my job or a job ever again. <laughs> so if you win, the winner, and I'm going to basically judge these, and I'm going to judge them based on whether or not you're using a cell phone camera. I want quality, I want plumes of smoke, and I want it to be in a place that's really inappropriate. Like the ideal place would, would be like a soccer mom convention, <laughs> wherever... Or maybe... I didn't know that those went on, but if you find one... That's the thing. They, I'm, they have to get... To, where else would they get together and talk about how many balls they can stuff in a Ford Astro? So the winner will receive... And this is a pretty good gift, because this is the first show, a five-pack of the Rocky Patel Old World Reserve Corojo Torpedoes. Now, if you don't win... And it's fun. And it is fun. We did have a lot of fun. You know what's weird is that in high school... Nobody thought you'd live to be 18. Seriously, we thought you'd be the first of us to pretty much cash in their Kick chips. Because yeah. you're just a, just a lunatic. And you should have seen Mark when we're getting ready to go into the, into the mall to take these pictures. He's saying, I, I teach piano lessons. What if somebody sees me and they say, oh, later on, there's that guy from the mall that was taking a picture of the other guy smoking a cigar. Now they're not going to want to hire me to take, uh, to hire me to, to give their kids piano lessons. And I'm thinking... You have come a long way, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, it, it is funny that just lighting up a cigar or you know, even a cigarette in a mall it, 10 years ago or 20, you know, maybe 20, 30 years ago, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been thought about. Hmm. Now it, I, I went in there and I, I felt like we were doing something really wrong. And there was nobody in the mall. And there's nobody there. And, it, and it's, it's just interesting how... Uh, how times change and how the law, the rules change. And how mentally we, we change. Yeah. Uh, but let, let's get back to, let's uh, digress a little bit and get back to the cigars. Mm -hmm. I've had to do a little bit of touch up, not too bad. The square pressed, the Cuban pressed cigars often don't burn perfectly, I've noticed. This isn't a perfect burn, but I've had no trouble smoking it. Although you put yours down for, for a period and I know right. it's supposed to keep going, but I've been pretty much smoking this right along and it's, it's burning nice and it's smoking very well. So far, nice white ash. Mine's a little, um, little more flaky than, than yours. Looks like uh, your burns, like you said, a little more even. But the draw is perfect. Yeah. The aroma is nice. It's not as, probably not as strong as Rocky Patel touts it, but there's, there is that richness, that creaminess, and that sort of caramelly type flavor to it. So, as far as, uh, as far as a cigar goes, so far, very enjoyable experience. But, um, yeah, we're talking about the S-chip, and for people that don't know what the S-chip is, it's, it's getting a lot more press now. It's the um, State Children's Health Initiative Program, 
it's a piece of legislation that got vetoed by Bush um, early on in 2008. And it's a way of funding children's health care. I, I would just like to say that I am for children having health care and having access to hospitals and medical attention and so on. Listen, hippie, listen. <laughs> you get back to hate Ashbury when we're done with the show and you can bring right, your incense right. and peppermints with you. We don't hate children and we don't want to see anyone in this country going without medical attention if they need medical attention. Okay. Can, you, can you stop pandering to children and soccer moms <laughs> for two minutes so I can explain what S-chip is? It's my disclaimer. It's my disclaimer. Because you know the first thing they're going to say is, that guy, uh, you don't like, you know, and the same thing they said about uh, anyone who's against this bill is that they don't, they don't like babies. What's the matter? Yeah. They don't like children. But the, the S-chip is a piece of legislation that um, seeks to help families provide health care for their children who normally fall below the level of Medicaid uh, funding, which, which means if, if they make, the family makes too much, they're outside of Medicaid, and if they make too little, then they can't afford their own private health insurance through an HMO. Uh, and this is a sort of way of uh, filling in that gap by right. providing health insurance for, right. for children. For people who can't afford health insurance, but they make too much to qualify for Medicaid. Bingo. Yeah. Now, the S-chip is getting a lot of its funding by taxing, and the big tax is coming from tobacco, which affects me because I'm a cigar retailer, and like many of my brethren feel that cigars shouldn't be lumped in with other tobacco products like cigarettes and uh, roll your own tobacco and snuff and chew and dip and that sort of thing because it's, it's a completely different, different monster. Well, no, you don't. One doesn't go out for a cigar break every 10 minutes throughout a day, you know, and smoke a pack of cigars. Right. If they do, maybe that's, maybe that's excessive. But, I mean, I, I see a cigar, smoking a cigar is more of a, a leisure activity. You know, I don't know how many cigars you want to smoke in a day, but... It's an adult privilege for adults. When I use the moderation, is a nice addition to anybody's lifestyle. You look at a glass of wine, you know what? Nobody wants it, people drinking to excess. Oh, and that's the same thing. You don't go out for a wine break every 10 minutes. Right. You don't go out for a chocolate bar break every not, 10 minutes. It's not the same in, thing. Maybe in France, but maybe not here in the States. But anyway, so the S-chip is uh, a bill that is pretty much guaranteed to pass the House and the Senate. And Obama is clearly not going to, uh, to veto a bill that funds children's health care. Right. He's not going to go against children. But... Uh, this tax uh, is yet another tax on tobacco. The cigar industry actually sort of in many ways dodged a bullet because the original tax um, was 2,000% increase and they settled for a 50% increase. Uh, cigarettes weren't that lucky. Cigarettes are going to be increased quite substantially. But the biggest effect is going to be on roll your own tobacco. It went from a dollar a pound to I think $20 a pound. 20, two zero. Um, and you know what? It's just it's, it's disgusting because when you think about what sparked the American Revolution, the Boston Tea Party, do you have any idea what percent tax um, the British were imposing on the colonists for that, for that tea? Oh, far less than any of the tax rates we pay now, I'm sure, well, it's, it's, on anything. It's been, it's been debated. There's, there's nothing really concrete, but they're, they're guessing it's about 3%. 3%. It was a 3% tax that on tea that led to uh, the American Revolution, which is pretty amazing. Now in, the, in New York State, we pay, I pay a 37% tobacco tax in addition to the federal tax, and that's a floor tax, which means I pay that as soon as I purchase the product. I don't collect the tax at sale. I pay that tax and give it to New York State even before I sell the cigars. And that's, you know what, I, I like the idea of helping fund children's health care. But Absolutely. don't segregate. My, this is my beef. Don't single out one industry. Don't demonize it and then suck the life out of it to fund a program that should be funded through many other industries. Many industries which are far more uh, detrimental to children's health.